So we've got ourselves some more showdowns. We've got Eric Dyer, the 89 center back, or 89 Trossard. This is going to be for the second lineup of the Champions League. Who is going to win? Let me know down below who you think is going to win. Could it be Arsenal taking Bayern Munich away? Or could Bayern Munich steal the deal at home? That's going to be the big question. But both of them will go to either 89 into 91. I believe, I want to say when it comes to Champions League, because there, no, in fact, there should be, there could be an extra time, I believe. If it's a draw, it should be extra time. Then I want to say it's at full time. It could be the draw unless they take the winner from the 120 or penalties, give or take. So we're going to be seeing at least a 91 from someone. That's going to be the big question. And we also have had a new evolution, which we've seen before, which is the showdown, evol well, the, what is it? The showdown winners two. This is going to be to be able to take a 90, 91, I suppose, or 90 if there is a draw, up one rating. So we can get this again. We saw it last time. So if you did do your Zhao Felix with it, or if you did your Akanji, you could do your Bastoni now. It can be, obviously, any winners. So anybody that you've got in your club. I currently don't have anybody in there. Or it can be any of the new showdowns we have had over the past couple of days. So if you're looking to improve your team, make sure you're heading over to loopbar.gg. They are the best and most reliable coin service you can find. Also with the best 24 hour manual customer service that you physically cannot find anywhere else. But before finishing on loopbar.gg, make sure you are using the code JT11, 8% off your first ever transaction and then 5% off every time after that. Once you've gone through the payment, you'll be able to get your coins within the next 24 hours absolutely guaranteed also with the code you'll be able to get five percent more coins on every transaction make sure you do click the link either in the description or down in the comment section below oh and apparently we're back now now the question is are they worth it this is the big question when it comes to being so close to team of the season should you be doing any of these i think if you are running a Bayern munich team or an arsenal team then it's a no-brainer to support your team and do it i think it's 86 and 87 with a team of the week pretty standard and then i'm assuming this is going to be about the same 86 team of the week 87 team of the week we have got the bruiser and aerial on dire 85 pace 993 pretty standard agility balance is shot but center backs it's not too much of an issue composures at a decent ish level uh, we've got play styles pretty good for out again. Trossard's got himself the Rapid Plus and Traveller, which is a great pairing. Four star, five star. So Trossard definitely is the better player out of the two. 90 on the pace, 91 shooting as well as 90 dribbling. Very nice card. If that gets the 91, that is going to be a brilliant card at 91. And another great one that could be into that 92. So we've got technical flair, first touch, long ball. Can he go winger? He can go left wing as well, so that's not going to be a bad option whatsoever. Whether you are doing the rest, we've obviously got a few days for a few of these cheaper ones. I know Sandro is worth absolute peanuts at an 87. 87 team in a week. Is it? Is it you that's cheap as well? 85 team. Again, some that are worth doing in case they do get the, the kind of result. We've obviously got quite a few that I've just not really bothered with. Mukiele is meant to be really good as well. With just an 84-85, we're never going to argue with that. Sergio Roberto, 86 in form, 87. Again, whether we see it. And also, just as a, a mention for any of the Europa ones or any of the Champions League, it doesn't matter, say for instance, Barcelona lost to PSG. I'm pretty sure they lost to PSG. If Barcelona was to win but not qualify still, say if Arsenal were winning 5-0 against Bayern but Bayern beat them 1-0 in the next leg, that doesn't matter. It is just based on the actual game rather than necessarily the group, the, the kind of the quarterfinals of it. So they don't actually have to win the whole leg. It just has to be that one game, just as in case you didn't know. So in terms of them two, I think they're both very nice, whether I think they're worth doing, to be honest. Let's have a quick look at the footman, because I want to know with Dyer, has he had any other cards prior to this? Because that's an interesting point with him, because I can't remember anything coming from him, to be honest. So we've got Dyer here, 89. Yeah, so he's just had the 77, so it's a big increase for him, 34 on the pace, 14 defending, 12 physical. It's a, it's a solid upgrade. The question is, Trossard as well has not had any upgrades. 9 on the pace, 11 shooting, 13 on there. In terms of price, and we're looking at 137, and then we've also got 154 on Dyer. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. I just think when it comes to these two specifically, 
I, I don't think if we're looking at a lot of people's teams, they are going to change much. They're, they're pretty standard cards. I'd say they'd only kind of manage a past and present. And especially with Team of the Season, literally next week, I, I don't see them being that useful at this point. It would literally be just because they have got the potential to go into 92. And if you do the showdown uh, evolution, that is. But then also, they're good fodder, maybe, at the end of the day. We've already got a few players that are really cheap as well. You've also got the 82 times 11 upgrade, I believe, that we've got today. This is repeatable once a day. Again, pretty much worth doing. And arguably, an 85-rated team. I mean, it's an 82 times 11, but wow, that's expensive. And it, well, I mean, or is it expensive? 27,000, I suppose that's not terrible, but that just seems to be a bit absurd. Like an 84 at a, at a maximum, really, for potentially 11 82s, that seems to be a bit ridiculous. We also did get the 83 times 10 back as well. It depends on what you're kind of looking at to do this week. I would just be saving packs, to be honest. If you are looking to grind out any player SBCs, I just think definitely using whatever you've got in your club, opening up all of the smaller packs and trying to keep these 83 times 10s, the 82 times 11s if you are doing them, just because you want to be saving for team of the season. That's going to be the big thing, especially when we do have live cards coming as well. Apparently they're to do with four wins from the domestic league and then eight goals for a club, so there's a potential of a double upgrade. I would personally say saving all the packs is going to be better this week rather than shilling out for players. We also do have the Icon player pit back as well if you wanted to finish that one more time. Uh, again, at this point, I would personally just be saying keep everything, save everything for team of the season as really most of these cards in the next two, three weeks are either going to be completely obsolete or you'll be able to get team of the seasons with potential triple play star pluses that are half the price we saw the same with the galazos they are so down in price it's exactly what happens for the lower players in team of the season when you've got someone like a sala or a harland they're obviously going to be still premium prices but say for instance somebody like i'm trying to think like a gabriel sort of thing. if you had like the saliba ruben diaz uh kind of pairing or virgil they're going to be your premiums your kind of gabriel is going to be kind of be rated a little bit lower meaning that it's going to be priced a little bit easier for you to get same with goalkeepers there's just very little point now putting into this game until we get to team of the season and we can see what they're actually doing we can see what rating they're going to do so it'll be interesting to see that kind of going forward let me know down below if you have completed any of these showdowns and if you're going to put into the showdown plus let me know who you're going to do but from that buy an arsenal who's going to win peace